I started guiding uh, 25 years ago and about 15 years ago uh, I heard about the snake fishing here in, uh, in Mexico and I just get really deep into it, you know. Four years ago, I had the opportunity to travel to, to England and learn the, the techniques of the fly fishing. So uh, when I came back to, to Mexico, I, I started getting more curious and deep into the fly fishing. So yeah, the last four years we've been fly fishing and it's been like the new challenge, you know, it's just, just been something really new, a new world, you know, it's just so crazy. Basically, the, the fly fishing equipment we use here at the river, we use uh, number eight, eight weights, uh, floating an intermediate line, uh, and just basically a, a lot of different flies, you know, streamers, uh, uh, closer minnows, uh, you name it, different ones. Uh, fly fishing for snook, you know, I've been, I went to so many flies, uh, and uh, no matter how good you are, you're gonna lose a lot of them, you know. Just try to reach this fish like inside the mangrove, it's just crazy, you know. So I started to try to figure it out and, and, and find the perfect the perfect fly for snook fishing here at the river. And I found out the, the wheat guard, you know, the wheat less, it's, it's just the key for that. And uh, so it was hard for me to, to get those flies down here, you know, and, and TV, so uh, I start learning, you know, and start tying my own flies. So yeah, we're tying our own flies now, and it's just it's just so cool, you know, to learn uh, tying and be a fly fishing guy. To be a fishing guy, it's been a challenge for me, especially how to be a fly fishing guy and learn everything about it. It's just been so blessing for me and and. And now connecting with the same species that I used to catch before in a different way, it's just, it's just been so, so crazy, so unique, you know, and, and what I really love more about to be a fishing guy, it's, it, it never ends, you learn something new every day.